because that's that's you know that's mm-hmm. a family right there. How are they doing? Um, they good. They very strong kids. They very right. strong kids. Um, definitely my backbone. Uh, we're in a situ- we're in a situation right now that we're in um in a city shelter. So um, basically, it's been very hard for them to transition, you know, right. and, and dealing with it. But um, so how 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 did how did we go from the where you were to the well, city basically, shelter? Basically, because basically after Pun Pass, I didn't really receive a lot of money. I received some money from the um from publishing. Oh. Um, but I I I received exactly one hundred and sixteen thousand something for publishing, mm-hmm. which is um through Jelly Bean, and um I the house I was paying mortgage for, right. which was my husband that he bought the house, it wasn't paid out. The five years that I was living there before I sold it, I spent over 120000 just on mortgage. Mm-hmm. You know, then you got the kids and the food and the clothes and, you know, legal fees. And um, when there's no money coming in, it's just money coming out. You're very candid about your relationship with Pun and, and what transpired. Um, and you, all, you also openly talked about the abuse. Right. Um, how, how, how were you able to deal with it for so many years? Do you feel like... It was just because, you know, you, you really didn't know anything out of that? Or was it something that you just didn't really know was a problem at that time? I mean, um, it's, it's, it's through the grace of God that I've survived. Yeah. Um, I never knew what domestic violence was until right. I was in it. And even when I was in it, I still didn't know what was going on. Like, right. you know, I didn't know. I thought it was just me. I didn't know that it was, mm-hmm. you know, happening a lot with so many women, you know, even men. There's right. a lot of women who you know, abuse right, their men as well, right. not just a man thing. Right. Um, so, you know, eventually I started, like, educating myself, listening to Oprah. There was a time around the 90s with the Oprah and the Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and right. it was all about domestic violence. So I started learning, you know, and um, realizing that it wasn't my fault. And basically, an abuser, it doesn't matter what face, what race, how much uh-huh. money, you know, it, it basically has a certain pattern. Mm-hmm. So I basically started learning the pattern and, and just looking at my own life and looking at fun and starting to realize and you know then you think you know he was he was abused when he was young you know what i'm saying and mm-hmm. also you know when you're abused and you go through, through so much when you're young mm-hmm. and when you go older and you just keep all that hate and anger inside mm-hmm. you know you don't deal with it you know it was easy for him to turn that way you know right. he didn't like being that way um, a lot of people got upset because i spoke about it mm-hmm. but it was my life i decided to speak about it and free myself my kids and my husband of that demon. Mm-hmm. Um, he apologized in the wishful thinking. He mm-hmm. basically says, I wish I could make my wife forget her tears, but physical abuse, give her back her best years. So I don't, you know, obviously people are not listening to the lyrics mm-hmm. or, you know, they're not really paying attention because he apologized right. publicly. Because people say, how could you, you know, keep fighting for him and, and you know, support him. And, right. you know, I love my husband conditionally. Um, you know, what transpired between us, it was unfortunate, but, you know, but I, I loved him to death and, and he was, and pain, you right. know, and I understood that. Um, it was hard for him to let go, and he would just um, express his anger that way with me. You know, he knew I would never leave. He knew I was there, and it was easy to express that anger with me. Right. And um, and the kids, you know, suffered a lot through because they seen a lot. Um, he but also they were had, never abused, abusive towards them. Um, they, they were abused. My he used to hit my daughter um, Star at the beginning, then he stopped when she was young. Mm-hmm. And what he did, a uh, form of discipline, like if they would argue or you know kids would act up, he would make them box. But then now the box, instead of it being a form of um, um, to show them to defend themselves and teach because I don't have a problem with them teaching them defensive skills mm-hmm. and boxing and right. care about whatever, but it be, is a line that you cross when it becomes now abusive. Right. You know, when you come home at 3, 4 in the morning, you're waking up kids and they're, you know, going blow for blow with no gloves, nothing, there's blood everywhere, and, right. and, and, and you know, they stomp each other out and, and you're forced to bite each other and do all this crazy stuff, it's abuse. Well, well how about, we, I have to ask this question because you have to do some interviews on this, how um, about Fat Joe? What, what's his element? Oh, he was not on the documentary. And 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 <laughs> now talking about Fat Joe, you know, you you've had your I guess you can say your thoughts on him and, and right. what has hap- what has transpired since right. puns, you know, passing, passing. away. Mm-hmm. Um, and right now, you guys really aren't on the best of terms. Um, yeah, we we haven't been on the best of terms in a while. It's basically I'm asking to see proof of royalties and mm-hmm. so forth, and I have not yet seen anything. Um, as far as my end with Pun, um, Pun has made a lot of money for people right. and continue to make money for them, but Pun doesn't get paid when you hear um, songs out there, iTunes, ringtones, mm-hmm. Pun is not getting a check. So if Pun is not getting a check, the kids are not getting a check. Right. So, Would you like it to be reconciled between you and him to some degree? Would uh, you like no, to have I, a conversation? I, but I, really want, I, I, don't really, I don't really need a conversation with him or uh-huh. to be friends or let's be buddies. I really don't need him in my life in that sense. My whole thing was to get what okay. Pun rightfully deserves. 
You know, he was a great artist. He okay. worked. If, so basically, if royal if, if, if there's basically money, money due to him, okay. it should be his. It should be the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's basically, yeah, when my husband passed, I promised him that I will always have his back. Okay. And that's something where, you know, I, I try to look after that for him. Right. Um, it hasn't come about that way, you know, so I decided to let it go. But um, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I've tri- I tried many times to reach out to Joe, and mm-hmm. you know, just on this aspect, and and I, and it's nothing. So mm-hmm. I just left it alone. Why? Why do you think he was so against kind of having that conversation, even I, if it was I don't to make know. amends? I have no idea. That's that's only something that he can answer because okay. I have never done anything um, personal to him. Um, even when Pum was alive, I didn't have any type of right you negativity know, towards yeah, him. like towards you know, and um, it was just after he passed away. I just wanted to um, certain things when Pun passed away, certain things had to happen. And then, and then you know, Pun also had a lot of of artist friends. Have any of them reached out and, and had conversations with you? Um, no, about the only anything? people I've, I've I've definitely stood in contact over the ten years has mm-hmm. been um Cuban and Triple Sace. Okay. Um, I haven't seen Prospect in years. Or um, again, I haven't seen as far as the industry, like people in the industry, have, you know, just regular industry heads. I have not. They don't keep in touch. And I'm not a type of person who is gonna be chasing anybody or calling mm-hmm. anybody. So no one's kept in touch. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. So. I definitely will be there to oversee right. them and make sure that um right. they can get to where they gotta go without the extra drama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Extra drama, no pun intended, <laughs> right? No pun intended. <laughs>